Hello everyone. I got my uh, Newtone exhaust fan over the stove here. And I turned the flash on for this video so you can see the blades in there. It's got nine, I believe, propellers. And it's, you know, it's a really a neat fan. And in fact, let me crawl up on the countertop here. And we'll remove the cover real quick. Get a little screw off. Pull that down. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I don't have any ductwork above it. And just go straight to the attic. For now. Motor plugs right into there. And uh, there's the motor tag, which you can't see because the flash is on, but you wouldn't be able to see it if it was off either. So, it 1550 RPM is what it says, which is just really quite fast. And it's a lot faster than any other fan you're going to get from Home Depot today. Even then, reproduction of this. Put this back on. Essentially, C just kicked in. Which is what that background noise is, if you can hear it. I don't know. And there's the uh, information on the fan. Model 8490, 117 volts, 60 cycle, 1.1 amps. However, this tag says model 471, 1.7 amps, which leads me to believe that this cover may not have been original to this fan, but that it's okay with me. 430 CFM, 7.5 zones. <laughs> oh, let's fire this bad boy up. powerful for a fan its size and I can actually feel the air movement from just it running yeah the spin down time is not that long but it's got nine wings on it so it's hitting a lot of air resistance and it, um, you know, may need to be lubricated, although it doesn't hesitate at all. So it's a great fan. And I had to put it here because I moved my stove to the other side of the kitchen. It used to be right over here where the dishwasher is. And I had a regular hood over it. Um, but I relocated it. And I can't put a hood here. I mean, I could, but it would block the open flow. So... I didn't. I put this in instead, and I have no regrets. And uh, so, anyway, that is it, and I hope you enjoyed.